All right, well, you know, um, I very, very seldom ever do a video a day. Hardly ever. And I try not to. I don't need to. I'm not doing this to try to get my uh, numbers up on YouTube to become a uh, podcaster, I guess they call them. Where you got to put a video out every day and try to keep it interesting and try to get people to give you money. And you do live videos and you get people to give you money for super chats, all that stuff. I watch people that do that and I do get money to do a lot of them. Uh, there's, there's actually been quite a few of them lately that I do get money to. Uh, the thing is, is that you guys all think that Joe Biden is going to be your president. That's not going to be the case, even even after all these court cases happen. And if he does become the final victor, it becomes the electorate that everybody decided to choose for. He's not going to be your president. There are people so stupid that they didn't pay attention to what Nancy Pelosi was saying when she threatened to bring out the 25th Amendment? When she did that, it wasn't to try to go after Donald Trump. It had nothing to do with Donald Trump. She brought it out after he came back out of the hospital from COVID. But it had nothing to do with Donald Trump. Well, he's going to come out of the hospital after he was determined to probably have COVID or maybe he had COVID. He had the sniffles and he got cured and he came back and everything's fine and he's got more energy than he had when he was 25 years old. That's not what the 25th was about. That's not why she was talking about it. Come on, are you that dumb? Let me break this down for you. The 25th Amendment clearly states that it is possible for Congress to remove a sitting president due to mental incapacitation. Be it that he just can't do the job because of some kind of a disease like COVID. Eh, she made it sound pretty good like that was what it was going to be for. Or because he's just like got dementia, like a uh, sleepy, creepy Uncle Joe Biden has. And if you don't believe me on that one, oh my God, you really need to pay attention to this. The reason why Nancy Pelosi brought out the 25th Amendment the way she did and when she did was to make it sound like she was going to try to use it against Trump, but that's not what it was about. It was about what if we can rig this election enough to make Joe Biden actually become president. We can't let the man run the country. He's not smart enough. He has no wherewithal to be able to keep up, to be able to do what needs to be done as president. Take this into consideration very seriously, because I'm going to be honest with you. This is a scary freaking thought. And this is something she's been plotting for years. It's not just something that just happened overnight. If they use the 25th Amendment, to remove Joe Biden as the President of the United States. That automatically makes Kamala Harris the Vice President elect, in quotes, I hate quotes, but in quotes, Vice President elect automatically takes over the position of the President. What happens to the Vice President seat when that happens? Um, by default, that autom automatically automatically, and this is the bitch about it, automatically, the Speaker of the House becomes your default Vice President. Holy shit. You all really want to bring a country together where you're going to have Kamala Harris as your President, who is so, so, so left-leaning. She's not even centrist left-leaning, she's total left-leaning. And you're going to have Nancy Pelosi as her vice president. Well, you know what happens if that comes about? You just lost your freedom of speech. Everything in the First Amendment. Your freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of gathering. Which they've all liked. I mean, they come on. Those are the supporters of Antifa and the Black Lives Matter movement. They're going to stifle all that because they don't want that going on while they're in office. So there goes the First Amendment. Kamala Harris already said, boy, she's going to come take your guns. There goes your Second Amendment. Automatically. And in order to be able to take your guns, they got to come in and illegally search and seizure. There goes your Fourth Amendment. 
I could go on and on and on about how many of your rights that you just gave up by thinking that Joe Biden should be your president. But I'm going to leave it at that. Because I think if you really, really, really want to know what's going to happen, you need to do your own fucking research. This is not good for our country. Not that I believe that it's going to be the case and scenario. I think after we get done with all the litigations and everything that's going on with all the, the voter fraud, I think we're going to see President Trump come back out as a victor on this one. But I'm going to be honest with you, that is a scary fucking thought. And one you need to all take into consideration because that is the truth. If you don't believe me, learn your frickin' history, learn how it works. I have. And I'm not fucking stupid.